Now I know. Now I know, man, what all of the Infinity Ward employees have been doing all this time that they've been developing Infinite Warfare. They've been lining up on the dance floor, practicing on their old school maneuvers and dance moves. What is going on, YouTube? The Assist Man. I'm coming back at you guys with another YouTube video. Inside of this video, man, you're going to be watching me play some Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Zombies in Spaceland and give my official review of the Zombies in Spaceland Zombies mode. Now, I'm not even going to sugarcoat this. I'm not even going to bullshit around. I'm going to cut right to the chase. You're about to have me say something or see me say something that I don't normally say. So if all of you guys always be like, oh my god, you're such a Call of Duty hater. All you do is you just talk shit about it and you never, you never say anything is good about Call of Duty. And I'm like, man, I got like over 500 videos on my channel. I have played numerous games, including Call of Duty and other games and other things that I said that were amazing. And this right here is one of them. Yes, Zombies in Spaceland is amazing. It is literally amazing. It is by far the coolest thing I've ever played in my entire life. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you why. So sit back, watch, and enjoy. Now in the gameplay, you're going to see just lots of just, you know, I guess you could say montages of two or three games I played with some of my friends and some of the coolest things inside the map. And I'm going to take you around the map and I'm going to show you some of the map and show you some of the park and show you some of the things that you can actually get in the park. But man, I'm in love with this game. I am in love with this Zombies in Spaceland. It was no secret, and I made it perfectly clear for the past couple months, ever since I seen the reveal trailer of Zombies in Spaceland. I said that I thought it was going to be amazing. I said that I don't think that the multiplayer in Infinite Warfare is going to be good. I said this for the past couple months. But I did say that the Zombies mode, man, looked amazing. And a lot of people were like, oh my god, it looks so cheesy, it just looks so dumb. Yeah, well, you know what? Cheesy and dumb sometimes is fun. You know, when I play video games, I don't care anymore, man. I really don't care anymore how good I do at them or how bad I do at them. Because people have the wrong conception of what gaming is. You know? I care about how much fun I'm having in the game. If I go negative every game playing Call of Duty, but I'm enjoying it and I'm having fun then I think that the game is good because gaming is supposed to be about fun. And in Zombies in Spaceland, man, I have had nothing but fun so far. I'm so addicted to it that I literally cannot stop playing it. It is completely amazing. There's so many cool things you could do. I mean, it's set in a 1980s theme. I'm 33 years old. I'm an 80s kid. You know, like, this strikes a chord to me. I love this stuff. And then you got the actual amusement park itself. The Zombies-themed amusement park. And you could ride a roller coaster. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm riding a roller coaster. You climb up to the top. You go up to the top like you're in the actual park. The roller coaster's at the very top. You get on it. You shoot traps. You earn tickets and tokens. I mean, what, uh, what other zombies mode have you ever played where you can actually ride a roller coaster and shoot zombies and clown zombies and stuff? It's amazing. But I'm going to go ahead and get some of the key things that I love about the game. Is that the traps in this game are, are unbelievably good. The traps in this game are so cool. I mean, like, traps have always been, you know, a, a, a thing in Call of Duty. Where I seem like, it seemed to me they got away from making good traps. But the traps in this game are amazing, man. Some of the traps are just, I, I can't sum it up more than just say amazing. There's like all kinds of rides and things that like suck you in. And there's like the thing you've seen in the beginning of the, the game that I showed the intro clip of. It's like a disco ball you hit it for. And they start spinning around and break dancing and striking poses and just start dancing all together. And then the freaking disco ball shoots out laser beams and kills them all. That is one of the most coolest ideas I've ever seen in the game in my life. It's so cool. Like, man... Props and bravo to whoever the developer of this was. I would love to have been in the room when they were like, I got a great idea for a new zombies map. How about we take it back to the 1980s and make it like a zombie themed amusement park. And I would have been sitting there if I worked for Treyarch or Activision and my jaw would have dropped to the ground. I would have said, you can do that? Like, are you serious? I, you have to do it. 
So, man, whoever developed this, whoever had this idea, I just want to tell you that I love you. If you're watching this video, I highly doubt you are. But whoever the developer, whoever had the idea to make this map, I just want to tell you that I love you. And this is probably the coolest thing that I've ever played in Call of Duty in my life. Like I said, man, I love zombies of all genres, especially Call of Duty. I love the 80s, man. The 80s is just, it strikes a chord to me. It's what I'm from, man. It's where I was raised. I love the 80s. The 80s was just good times, man. Everything in the 80s was just different. It was the start and it was the beginning of a lot of the stuff of the way we live right now. It was the golden age of the start of the, some most and some of the technology we use today. It was just life was better during the 80s, man. And this took it back, man. It made me feel like I, I went back. And then on top of that, you know, there's just so many cool things in this map. Like I already talked about, the traps are amazing. The traps are insane in this game. They're so fun to use. Then you got... Other things they added to the game, like the souvenir coins. So when a zombie dies, some zombies drop souvenir coins. And then you take the souvenir coins and you put them in the souvenir coin machine. And depending on what color of the coins you put in, once you put three of them, you get a special gift. You earn a prize. And those prizes are actually really, really good things to use. You could earn a sentry turret that comes down and shoots zombies. You could earn fireworks. I'm going to show you guys, you know, some of this stuff throughout this gameplay. So just keep watching. You'll see it. You could earn like fireworks things where you just set the fireworks up and the fireworks just blow up in the air and kill zombies and just the graphics man the graphics alone of all the stuff in the game the graphics of the map is so crisp the graphics of everything in the game is so crisp they even had this thing in here where you you earn tickets and you buy this thing it's called an Armageddon and I was like what is this thing so I just bought it for 50 tickets I was like I don't even know what this is but let's go ahead and round up some zombies and I'm gonna just go ahead and throw it because it put it in my left bumper grenade slot so I'm gonna throw it and then I'm going to see what happens. So all of a sudden, man, we're running around. We got zombies chasing us. I said, let me go ahead and throw it. And I just threw it right there. And I was wondering what was going to happen. And look at this. Look at this. When this happened, man, I was screaming like a little girl. I really was. I was screaming like a little girl. Meteors are coming down, crashing down to earth as in like the movie Armageddon. I almost wanted to sit there and start singing the song from Armageddon. Like, and I don't want to you know the song so yeah man this is so many cool stuff in this game man that meteor shower that armageddon thing is amazing the fireworks the souvenir coins and then they got the boom box the boom box is something you get with the souvenir coins from the souvenir machine and i'm gonna show you the boom box right now because i got that piece look at this you put the boom box down man and it's like the monkey bombs but it's a boombox, and the zombies, they just come around it, and they start dancing, they hear music, and the thing plays the song, like, I hear music from the 80s, and it just starts playing music, and all the zombies just go around it, and they start dancing, and they don't, and it lasts for a long time, it lasts even longer than the monkey bombs did, and then when it's over, it blows up, and it freaking kills them all! Like, come on, man, the ingenious ideas they made in Zombies in Spaceland deserves a goddamn Nobel Prize. It is amazing, man. This game is so, it's ingenious. The ideas are just genius inside of this game. The characters are amazing. And look at this trap right here. I'm about to show you guys this trap. It's called the Chromosphere or something. I don't know what it is, but we didn't know what it was either. So we decided to go ahead and just try it real fast to see what it does. So once we tried, we started the next round and then we tried it and then just watch what it does, man. It's amazing. Like I said, the traps are amazing, but the characters are really cool, man. I love how they took it back to the 1980s. They got the girl, which I am right now, who reminds Reminds me of one of the singers from the group The Bangles who had the song from the 80s called Walk Like an Egyptian. They got the nerd guy who reminds me of a guy from Revenge to the Nerd. They got the, the, the jock guy who reminds me of like Michael J. Fox and American, you know, Teen Wolf. And, you know, the black dude who reminds me of like an old school LL Cool J or Run DMC type guy. Man, everything in this game is amazing, man. The map is really good. The map is really, really big. You know, you get to explore around a lot. Everything that they did, like all the balloons, all the concession stands. You could play carnival games, man. You could play carnival games in the arcade and actually earn tickets and stuff like that. The amount of time and the amount of effort that they put into the graphics and all of the, the stuff in this game is freaking amazing. Now I know why Infinite Warfare's multiplayer is not that good. Because they spent so much time perfecting this zombie mode and making it so amazing, they probably didn't have any time for the multiplayer. But whoever designed this zombies map, man, you are amazing. Everything is amazing. The outfits of the zombies, they all have like that 1980s like theme stuff on with their outfits. Like everything graphically wise in the game is so crisp and it's so like almost realistic to the genre and the theme that they were trying to go for. It amazes me, man. It amazes me. 
Um, you can earn tickets by playing the carnival games like I already talked about. Then you can spend those tickets on actually purchasing, like, grenades and upgraded stuff for your guns and like all kinds of stuff from the ticket vending machines you could purchase cryo grenades that freeze zombies you could purchase like this cryo freeze wonder weapon thing it's just man it's amazing man i mean to sum it up, the traps are amazing, the souvenir coin system is awesome, you know, the fireworks things you get, the turrets, the boombox, the characters are amazing, the graphics are amazing, the map is just completely amazing, all the outfits, the theme, everything they did, the roller coaster and all the attractions inside of the map, uh, it's so much fun, man, it's a lot of fun, the ticket system, everything in this game is just fun. I'll be completely honest with you, man, I would pay $100 just for this. I'm not even bullshitting around. When it comes to having fun with anything, I'll pay for something I want and something that is worth its money to me. I don't care how much it costs. If it's worth it to me, I'll pay extra for it. And this is amazing. This is completely amazing and this is completely worth it to me. I would have paid $100 just for this Zombies map. Just, I'm not even kidding around. It's that good to me. It is really that good. It's that fun to me. It's so much fun. I love the new Fate and Fortune card system. It's kind of like the Gobble Gums, but they just switched it up a little bit. Um, I love that. I just love everything about this game. It's just, it's really that freaking good. Everything about this game is completely amazing. And then you got the music. I didn't even talk about the music. The entire time you're playing, David Hasselhoff is the DJ. And he's actually playing all the old school 80s hits. And they play the full length songs. And then they switch. And it shows you in like the middle left hand corner when the song switches. And you got background music. The only thing I would actually ask for is I wish they would actually turn up the music more. I want to hear the music louder, man. Because when I'm playing, I want to hear it louder. And I t in the options menu, I turned up the music to as loud as it goes. But I still think it needs to be like at least two times, at least two times louder. Because the music is so awesome and it really fits the theme and the genre of, of the map and the park and everything. I want to hear the music louder. So hopefully they can go in and make the music louder I think that would be really really cool but other than that man I think I've talked about this game and I've praised it enough man I really really love the zombies in Spaceland I don't think you guys understand how much I love it if I could rate this game a 75 out of 10 I would but if we're just on a scale out of a 10 out of a 10 it gets a perfect 10 to me perfect 10 out of 10 and if we want to go further and say that the game on a hundred point scale so you know up to a hundred out of a hundred I I would give this game a 99 out of a hundred yeah I like it that much the, the zombies mode I like it that much it's that cool okay it's that freaking cool man it's just really really cool I love everything about it and the only reason I'd give it a 99 and not a hundred out of a hundred is because I want to hear the goddamn 80s music louder I want to hear it louder put the music up louder and then you'll get a hundred out of a hundred so anyway man there you go I don't always hate on everything in Call of Duty I have my opinion just like you guys do okay this, on the other hand, is amazing. Okay, this is amazing. I was waiting for this for so long. I was looking forward to this for so long. And now that it's finally out, I I'm, I'm addicted. This is all I'm going to be playing pretty much, man. I love it. So I want to know what you guys think, man. Leave a comment down below. If you actually played the Zombies in Spaceland, how do you like it? You know, what do you feel about it? Do you just feel it's so ingenious and so cool like I do? And if you haven't played it and, you know, you like this kind of thing, what do you think about it after you're seeing it now and see some of the stuff you can do inside this map? So leave a comment down below, man. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, man, as much as I did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, man, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. And don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe to me as well, man, so they can view my videos, they can subscribe to my channel, and then you can help a brother out. So anyway, YouTube, this is The Assist Man, and until next time, I am out.